Hey YouTube, today we're going to be taking a closer look at the brand new iPhone 5 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Both are fresh on the market and feature the latest generation of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean and we have iOS 6 here on the left. Obviously Android devices have become extremely popular due to their customizable nature uh, and this uh, device is no exception. Whereas with an Apple iOS device, we are somewhat limited to basically what is nothing more than a simple app drawer. Similar notifications can be found on both devices, um, but basically what really makes them different is that we're looking at a 4 inch screen here with an 1136 by 640 resolution versus a 5.5 inch 1280 by 720 panel. So 4 inches versus 5.5. Obviously the iPhone affords the user significantly better one-handed operation, one-handed typing and things of that nature, making it a very pocketable and portable device. Uh, it is extremely fluid. iOS is a really polished operating system, hundreds of thousands of apps. Uh, it was the leader initially, but many people consider Android to be a more advanced and more customizable operating system. Though, for people that prefer simplicity and some better software integration, iOS and iTunes does afford the user uh, a more simplistic and controlled or walled garden type approach. Uh, whereas with Android, uh, if we wanted to customize certain different things like the sizing of apps or widgets, move them around, we are capable of doing that. Additional differences, aside from size, um, include the fact that the Galaxy Note obviously has the S Pen, uh, which it enables the user uh, to create notes, uh, and to do doodlings, to capture screenshots, uh, and to do other things of a more creative nature. Otherwise, uh, on the rear, both feature 8 megapixel cameras capable of 1080p video capture at 30 frames a second or extremely high quality stills, particularly in bright light. Um, we really have to hand it to Apple. The, the new image sensor that they've incorporated is substantially better at low light situations than the iPhone 4S. And this essentially contains the sim same camera uh, that was in the Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, and a, a slightly improved version over what was in the Galaxy S2. Otherwise, uh, the display technology on both differs. We have an IPS uh, LCD here on the iPhone. Um, it is really, really good at accurate color reproduction, um, but the AMOLED display on the Galaxy Note 2 uh, is also extremely good. Um, as we can see here, just bringing up videos, um, we have really, really rich, vivid color spectrum, but for some, it might be a little too saturated. Obviously, in terms of one-handed portability, um, <laughs> You really do need to incorporate the usage of two hands when it comes to typing um, or, or just overall usage of the device itself. But we can see that both are extremely polished and fluid. Obviously web browsing here is finally on par with what, we, what uh, iOS and Apple device owners have had for quite some time. This is the latest version of Android, Android 4.1. The only other device on the market to currently have that uh, is obviously the Galaxy Nexus, which is a Nexus device that gets updates directly from Google. Otherwise, we have a beautiful sort of etched, horizontally etched titanium gray. Uh, the device's construction is primarily plastic uh, with a little bit of metal hidden underneath the exterior housing. Otherwise, we have a 2 point, excuse me, a 1.9 megapixel camera on the front here for the Galaxy Note. And with the uh, Apple iPhone, we have a 1.3. Both are capable of HD or 720p video capture for Skype or for FaceTime, uh, the equivalent, obviously, uh, in Apple iOS. But yeah, the iOS operating system obviously is very basic. So for those looking for something a little more simple, something more portable, uh, and potentially more durable due to its high quality construction, maybe this is the device to get. You can't help me now. <laughs> so this is just a closer look at the Galaxy Note 2 versus the iPhone 5. Both are obviously completely different products, different operating systems from different manufacturers, um, but we thought you guys would be curious to know. And just in terms of their size, uh, we'll let you judge for yourself, but obviously they are substantially different. Uh, this one being from a phablet category, a category pioneered by Samsung with the original Galaxy Note. Uh, and this is obviously the most convenient size being at 4 inches, you still have access to the whole screen from one hand. So here we are taking a closer look at the benchmarks of the Apple iPhone 5 versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Both are extremely powerful, containing the latest generation processing technologies. They do contain reference designs from ARM, Apple actually licensed it and created their own A6 processor. It is clocked at 1.3 gigahertz, whereas the Galaxy Note 2 is clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. So let's run the benchmarks. This is both Geekbench 2 and let's see how they do. This is a dual core versus a quad core. This is a 2 gigabytes of RAM for the Galaxy Note 2 and we have 1 gigabyte of RAM for the iPhone. 
Android, due to its highly customizable nature, does run higher in terms of RAM consumption. <clears throat> Pretty much for all high-end devices now, 2 gigabytes is going to be the standard. All right, so the iPhone finished first. So we have 1624 for the iPhone versus 1962 for the Galaxy Note 2. So for running one benchmark, a synthetic benchmark, mind you, the Galaxy Note 2 does have more processing power. In terms of the raw numbers, uh, where, where does it really punch? Well, the memory is more efficient on the iPhone, um, which makes sense because they prioritize the GUI so that it runs absolutely fluid at all times, so it likely contains faster memory. For the Galaxy Note, though, the floating point uh, in terms of how quickly it can process calculations on the fly is going to be at 3116 versus uh, 2114 for the iPhone. So the Galaxy Note 2 wins there. Um, and also, yeah. Either way, both are extremely fluid, f fast devices. Uh, just opening up uh, a web browser here, for example, we can see obviously iPhone runs extremely fluid and the Galaxy Note 2 is no slouch either. I would say that they are almost completely identical actually. Uh, obviously some minor GUI differences in terms of being able to pinch out a little bit. Um, so that's the benchmark. I would say that they are on par. Um, in terms of running something, let's say like a camera for example, let's just bring it up really quickly. Okay. It's really hard to do this together. <laughs> we just have the S Pen from the Galaxy Note here. So let's try and focus and see which one can capture quicker. Okay, so it looks like the Galaxy Note 2 is actually faster at capturing in terms of the clarity. Let's just see. Okay, so it looks like the iPhone actually it was capable of capturing, although it was slower, the iPhone was capable of capturing more accurate, higher resolution pictures, uh, even though it was slower. We'll run a couple more tests on the camera in the next one just to see how it does. But basically, both are extremely powerful. Samsung Galaxy Note 2 has a little bit higher resolution at 1280 by 720 versus 1136 by 640. So it does have to calculate a bit more on the fly. But, and also we have widgets and stuff and a whole bunch more going on. So, yeah, that's the benchmarks of the Galaxy Note 2 versus Apple iPhone 5. So, my name is Darcy Lacouvet. We're here with Android Authority. We're taking a closer look at the Galaxy Note 2 versus the Apple iPhone 5. Let us know what you think of the devices below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.